All right, we've got some major uh, breaking uh, news out of Alberta. It looks like um, the premier, Jason Kenney, is, is going to resign. He, he just went through a leadership review. He won with only 51%, which was, I mean, that's pretty bad. If only 51% of people in the party want you i mean you know usually people who are ahead of their party get like 90 percent, 95 96 97 percent i mean this guy barely barely over half of the people in the party want him um but he he, he made the decision to step down as a result that's just embarrassing you you cannot win anything uh with 51%. So he will resign as leader of the uh, United Conservative Party, which may mean that he will not be premier of Alberta for much longer. How can you be? I mean, the way parliamentary systems work in Alberta, just like all the provinces of Canada and most of the former British colonies, they have the parliamentary system where the party with the most seats is, well, you know, the most seats in the legislature, that's, that's the most powerful. And if they have a majority of the seats, then the leader of that party is going to be selected as the head of the government. That's just how it, it works. Now, there are cases like in Germany where Angela Merkel stepped down as head of her party, and um, but she was still the, the chancellor because there's no real constitutional thing that says the premier has to be the leader of a party. It's who the people in the legislature choose to be the head of the government. And but but usually it's the it's the people who have the large, the party with the largest amount of, of members, they're going to choose their leader. So if Jason Kenney is going to step down as leader of his party, it, it, it's 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 almost a certainty. In fact, it is a certainty that, especially with that terrible vote he got, the the the, the leader, the members of the legis Alberta legislature, the UCP members who are a majority in the Alberta legislature, will choose someone else to be head of the government, premier of Alberta. And I'm, I'm guessing there's going to be a leadership election and you, you've got a number of people who've expressed interest in being leader of um, the Alberta United Conservative Party, which is the party that, um, that, that this uh, premier, uh, uh, Kenny, is a part of there are there, in fact if he had lost there were already two well-known individuals who wanted to be head of the party danielle smith is one uh she used to be the head of the wild rose party before it um united with the progressive conservative party of alberta and became the united conservative party brian jean was another um i'm glad that jason kenny's gone jason kenny was one of the um, biggest lockdown uh, proponents out there. I mean, he brutalized the people of Alberta, sent police, turned them into Gestapos, destroying people's lives. Um, the amount of pastors who were, who were arrested for observing the Sabbath. God says, observe the Sabbath on Sunday. Keep it holy, no matter what anybody tells you. And Jason Kenney is, is trying to have these pastors sin and not observe the Sabbath, and he arrests them, Art Pulowski and many others. But this is, this is a punishment. I'm, gl I'm glad Kenny, Kenny needs to go. It's, it, 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 he, he wasn't going to win any leg. I'm glad he's gone. He's resigned. Good. Um, now it's a question of who's going to replace him. They need to find somebody who is not only going to never have these mandates again, and I mean ever, but they also need to um, find someone who was against these mandates early on. One thing I am a little worried about, and I am concerned about this, is that the party is going to try and get someone in there who is just like Kenny, 
you know, they, they realize Kenny's a lame duck. He would never win anything. Only 51% of people who belong to his own party want him. Uh, he's a, he, 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 you know, but they're going to try and find someone who's just like him. You know, if you remember in Manitoba, when the Manitoba premier, who was another lockdown lover, Brian Pallister, when he resigned, I would say that, that the progressive conservative part of Manitoba, they rigged the election. They rigged it. They forbade certain people from running for no, no reason. They didn't even give a reason. But these were people who were very staunchly anti-mandate. Um, and they forbade them from running. And, and as a result, you have this, this new person, St Stephenson or whatever her name is, I mean, as premier of Manitoba, who is no different than Pallister. Um, so it, it, this is, this is you know, the, the, the UCP should not be comfortable. You know, I'm an independent. You know, the UCP should not be comfortable. I do have faith in the more center-right parties to give us back our freedoms as opposed to the center left parties. The center left parties are just full of crazies, woke, thinking they're more than two genders, <laughs> destroying the economy, global left wing, new world order globalists. Um, but the right, they're sneaky, they're sneaky. That's why I'm an independent, all right? So if the UCP puts someone in there who's no good or if they do any funny business in the election, hey, don't 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 support them. Continue not supporting them. Continue condemning them, because it'll be no different. And I'm hoping that's not going to happen. But you you never know. Anyway, that, that's the big breaking news that Jason Kenney is his days as Premier of Alberta are numbered. He has resigned as leader of his party. And this is your.